Yep, and like I said, he is gonna be going Banjo. We'll see how he can handle it. I think this is honestly a matchup that I've never seen, so it's gonna be new for me. I don't know about Three, two, one, uh, go! I think I've seen Leon try this matchup recently, but I haven't seen it much. So far, though, um, do. Finding like consistent ways to hit Sonic out of spin dash with Banjo looks very difficult. And the way that uh, Jordan keeps jumping, he's his lands just keep getting hit by spin dash. Yeah, I also think Sonic for the most part. Wow, he ran into that. I I was trying to say like he has the speed to have deal with the grenade like he doesn't have to just keep running into it but oh. that guy literally just underwing three times in a row and hit every single one and that was totally fun too because he kind of got stuck a little bit there in the uh, homing attack too, like one of the times and then he took a fake punish and then a tech situation as a platform to start it all off like you said sonic has the speed to kind of get in and out of panzer range but if Tony can just you know kind of ease up on the gas pedal a little bit It'll be fine. There's a back for the prestige control though here. Can you find the opportunity? Barely low. Oh, wing wing great play. timing on the Wonder Wing, actually. Yeah. That homing attack did connect, but... What? Does that happen? Yeah. That does does happen. That, did they actually yeah. die like that? I'm not too sure. I do know it does happen specifically how Benidra can also hit the wall. Did he can hit the wall. I don't know what necessarily causes it, but yeah. I mean, I know he can hit the wall, it's just like, why didn't he up B or anything there? He just died. Is that a thing? Like, he can't, he's not in a free fall or something? I don't know. Neither here nor there. In spite of that, that uh, unfortunate stock, Jordan is has a lot of control right now. And uh, again, this, this is the type of lead you want versus Sonic, especially as this character. Uh, Tony continuing to land with the laggy uh, homing attacks and uh, Jordan just seeing that punishing accordingly. Yeah. Spot, let's go to the ledge here. He's able to catch up even against Banjo running. Homing attack. Tony's right back at it with 106. He's gonna get the edge guard. I like the fact that he kind of spaced himself a little bit for the forward smash. See if he can try to catch Jordan in his way. Back. You can see that Tony just oh, another SD. Yeah. That's, that's rough. He didn't really do that much percent uh, to Tony before dropping that stock. Yeah, this is Jordan's SD, but Tony's biggest side of relief here. He's kind of put him much even on the board. And like you said, Star, Sonic has the speed of the spin dash to kind of get in and out of Banjo specific projectiles. That's why we're kind of seeing Tony just pull him through here. He gets out of the range, he comes in with a spin dash, I'm able to get it here, I like the challenge from Jordan, he gets the forward air, just to push it a little bit of percent. Oh, there it is, poorly spaced, grenade against, very easy for Tony to sneak in that spin dash. Yep, and Tony even tries to send himself perfectly here to amount for Jordan's recovery out again. I think that's what Tony is really, really looking forward to, is just trying to get these red punishes, but also looking at how Jordan is going to recover, just so he can punish him afterwards. Forward air? Yep. It's off stage here. Tony could get the forward smash or look for a okay. lead here. One more Wonderling left. Oh, he's out of, yeah, he's out of gas. Yeah. He was getting a lot of early kills with that move, so now he has to go for something else. Oh, but unsafe. Yeah, uh, a lot of Vandals just do that ledge jump, grenade pull thing to see if, like, you know, they'll catch you in shield or maybe you have to swing at him and blow up. But yeah, T Tony saw that and just spaced around it appropriately. Yeah, that was one shoot too. Really good stuff on Tony to kind of turn things around. Like you said, strides like that SD was pretty, pretty tough on Jordan. That kind of cost him the game, honestly. I want to say he had two SDs in that situation. Yeah. People keep SDing versus Tony, and uh, uh, Tony's taking it all the way to the bank, man. He's like, you're going to give me a free stock. I can make these comebacks. Yeah. He looks should, at it like, he looks at it like never, a little uh, opportunity. I 
I got my free money. Why would I not say no to that? Come on, let's be real here. All right, well, Jordan finally swats off to the DK. We'll see if uh, things fare differently for Tony than ALS. Of course, the matchup in kind is Sonic versus DK. We'll see how things go. Three, two, one, go! And off the bat, Tony with an aggressive of 26% here. And we did get your favorite stage of fight DK on <sighs> PS3. Tony, you just got me. You were in the chat. I hope you lose. Oh. I hope you lose. Oh, nice. Great down air. And uh, yeah, DK's recovery on the top completely exposed. Yeah. So it, uh, that's what makes him super success, uh, susceptible to spikes like that. Yeah, yeah Simicron doesn't have as great range as it used to, but also it's like, super susceptible. Yeah. Tony there, definitely, definitely going off. Yeah, I think he knows too. He kind of has to play a little bit more of the aggressor, but the best part about playing the aggressor with Sonic here is you can also get in and out. Because you're one of the few characters in the game that can actually effectively do that in a neutral area. He didn't connect the strong key to the sour head if not sure what it's going to do. Excellent push out with the back rest because he knows enough knockback outside the stage that it's currently in the top. Yeah, I, like, I really like this way more aggressive uh, strategy that Tony's employing here. I just think he just wants to continue to overwhelm DK before he finds himself uh, any type of momentum to cash out on. Yeah, and like I said, Sonic's token is so built around that. They can play aggressive or passive. Yep, they look at this mini Kong. He's gonna beat it out. Oof. He's gonna hop over here, but he's in the front for the percent and then you know what we do? We grab the leg. Like that in that situation, you leave yourself open for this only up to oh so far, man. Yeah, very, very, very dominant game on the DK. But uh, yeah, DK's ledge options, man, they're just not that great. Yeah. Uh, we even saw Chunky Kong try to opt for like that ledge jump air dodge just to try to get off the ledge, but uh, it's not difficult to punish that, <laughs> especially with that Sonic F smash. Yeah. I agree, and specifically, like, when you, you always have to remember when you re-grab a ledge, you do lose ledge invincibility, which is a big, big factor. Especially up against Sonic with his forward smash being so fast and having good after frames. Alright, well, it's the K-Rule. I did not see that coming, I'm oh. being honest here. K-Rule? Uh, I haven't seen this matchup. I figure Kirby Kid and Sonic have had to have played by now. Yeah, I I think he's uh he's trying to abuse these projectiles versus spin dash. Unfortunately for him, it, it's not outright being the move. It, it's just clanking. Yeah. Oh, you can see the starting frame is not as good enough here, but the main frame is probably not so hot. I was gonna say, yeah, Tony has to be careful on the recovery here because, yeah, the hero can definitely take care of that with Tony's mask. Yeah, yeah, I'm also trying to see how much the armor will uh, play a, a factor in this game right now. Oh, uh, what a good call out too. He threw out counterbar just so he can call out an area. I understand that. Missed forward act, missed forward act. Oh, we got a still forward This is Golden's game plan specifically. He wants to force Tony to go for the aerial spin, uh, spin dash just like so he can call him out with more there. And it's enough time to do so because he can look at the distance. The recovery frames from Blender Buzz are enough to be uh, cool specifically. And then, of course, when you do throw Crown, always remember K1 will have armor specifically only at the belly. To cross him up, they are yeah, right now, though, Carol is definitely uh, putting in all the work right now. Finally, he sneaks in another force match, but I feel like the damage kind of been done already. Pretty big lead right now for Jordan. Tony, though, trying to fight back here. Nice. It's a spin dash here, gets the back edge for a little bit of damage. 
has an armor through, and he gets the perfect mash on your arm. Ooh, nice. Man, I'm always impressed when K Rule players get that up smash out of that. It's like they super account for how their opponent's gonna mash out of the down throw. And it's so good too because the hitbox starts from on top and it extends upward and then downward and it's a really good attack. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, huge, huge parry punish. The nair into the down tilt. That's actually much uh, more consistent here confirming this game due to the, to the reduced landing lag on neutral air. See, they look did. See what oh. I'm saying? Look at this. Look at this game plan. Yeah. Really. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice edge guard. Yeah, just consistently hitting him out of the spin dash or just starting him, stopping the spin dash in his tracks with the projectiles. Very good for him. Uh, also, a lot of people, too, on that setup from K Roll. They instinctively, they try to jump over the crown, and then the K-Roll is like, okay, I can issue a jump, I'm just going to four-air you now. Or any type of really good anti -air. Exactly, and that's, that's the thing about K-Roll, too. He has enough recovery frames after Boner Bust, so he can actually punish you afterwards. So you kind of have to just kind of sit back and bait him and find the right opportunity in which you can actually punish him. And like I said, you can't really necessarily punish crown by normal conventions because he does have armor in the front of his throw because of the belly so it's really different you kind of have to like cross up carol and then find the opening specifically when he's going for things like crown and blunderbuss but we'll see i mean tony's still on set point here jordan with a little bit of a breather no let's see let's see tony uh what his adaptation is going to be here for the, the carol he just kind of got swept up to be honest um basically basically uh being behind as sonic um, forced to make these approaches, cause, like make a little bit more mistakes, and, and Carol eats those type of things up really well, especially when he's winning. Yeah, and when you look at Sonic as a whole, he doesn't have a, have a lot of like big burst options. The only thing you have more than you see for Sonic is spin dash to a forward air. Like, you need to admit that's commitment from Sonic, in which you've seen Jordan being able to call out. Okay, so far so good though for Tony here. Up to Jordan to make some good plays right now to bring this back. Nice luckily though, luckily he's playing the good character for it. Oh, nice use of the blunder bust there. Like I said, starting oh, oh, nice. nice timing on the backer to wait out the neutral air armor. How Tony has to play a little bit, a little bit more because there are, you can still go in, but the difference is you have to do it with opportunity. What a call out right before the down smash, too. Hey. And that just works on such a large window, on, especially on bigger characters. Nice, he pulls the hose out back. Tony has a dash into that forward air call out. That's the cross up. Good stuff on the up B, just because, yeah, Kayla can get that up and you can actually take your spot for it. Again, uh, Jordan's trying to find these ways to consistently hit him out spin. Look at the down throw, but bad hitbox on the up tilt. Unfortunately, it might have just been better to go for the up tilt. It's pretty fast. It might have caught him before he could mash out, and it, you're less likely to just, you know, not get a strong hitbox on that. Great get up attack to get past the ledge trap. Oh, Tony, man. So much, so much good for Saint right now. Just almost being slapped. Oh, two whole stocks to one. And at this point, Tony chooses. He could just, you know, super force Jordan to approach here. That, that up to, that up to was actually really hard to time, by the way, that he just killed with him out of the spin dash with that but yeah again a lot uh a lot of work to be done here for jordan before he's in any comfortable way with his back even if you can't from, uh, effectively break out the uh game on the recovery from his own special you just gonna have to do a little bit of percent there when i'm gonna recover his back oh 
I want to himself though. He's about to be in there. The Bulbar Pair coming out from Gordon, he's looking for it. But he waits on the Gordon Pair coming out for an excellent defense. Might be seeing uh, some signs of desperation here for Jordan, man. He's on his last legs here. Has to bank on so much uh, early kills off of Rage right now. Oh, he dragged him down. At the last is that what happened yeah, with Warrior? Yeah. Wow, I rarely see the uh, Sonics use like their multi to do any type of drag down stuff. That was a good play. Was, I'm sorry, I'm just impressed. That was an excellent play from you.